Unlocking the meaning of tired enough to drop. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English phrases and idioms. Today, we're diving into a very expressive phrase, tired enough to drop. Understanding this phrase will not only enhance your English comprehension but also enable you to convey feelings of extreme exhaustion vividly. So, let's get started and uncover the layers behind this intriguing expression. Tired enough to drop is an idiom that describes a state of extreme physical or mental exhaustion. When someone says they are tired enough to drop, they mean they are so tired that they could literally fall asleep or collapse at any moment. It's a way to emphasize just how exhausted one is, going beyond simply saying, I'm tired. While the exact origins of this phrase are not clearly documented, it is part of a long tradition in the English language of using vivid imagery to describe feelings or states of being. Phrases like this one appeal to our imagination and emotions, making the language richer and more expressive. In terms of usage, tired enough to drop is often used in conversational English. Especially after a long day of work, extensive physical activity, or during periods of intense study or emotional stress. It's a way to convey to others just how drained one feels in a descriptive and impactful manner. To give you a better grasp of how to use this phrase, here are a few examples. After the marathon, I was tired enough to drop. I could barely keep my eyes open. The new project at work has left me tired enough to drop by the end of each day. Juggling three jobs has me feeling tired enough to drop most of the time. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various situations involving physical exertion, work stress, or managing multiple responsibilities. And that's a wrap on today's lesson about the phrase, tired enough to drop. We hope this video has shed light on this expressive way of communicating extreme tiredness and that you feel more confident using it in your own conversations. Remember, learning idioms and phrases is a fantastic way to make your English sound more natural and fluent. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting insights into the English language. Stay energized, and see you in the next video.